What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andrei and today I'm going to be doing an update on Baba Ticker. And on today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news that might drive the price of this company. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis. And I will show you what should we expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here, somewhere at this point, uh, and I've told you that uh, we still have uh, this weird uh, sideways movement, because uh, from the technically from the beginning of December till the beginning of uh, January we have uh, this uh, decline in mode and uh, we don't, uh, we didn't break uh, the previous bottom and we didn't break the previous swing high. And this means uh, we are pretty much uh, in the middle of nowhere, but we have very good sign. And this sign is right here. As you can see, we have uh, this massive movement to the upside and uh, it has a huge volume. On top of that, we have uh, quite similar volume right here with this movement and uh, we have uh, these two bottoms, this one and this one. They are extremely close one to another. This means technically we might consider it uh, even uh, as a double bottom pattern and from this double bottom with the huge volume on both sides, we have uh, this movement to the upside. And uh, it is very, very good technical sign. But I will continue with my technical analysis in just several minutes. And for now, let's continue with the fundamentals of this company. First of all, I will show you right here that uh, for now its total market cap is $303.87 billion. And I have to say that it is extremely cheap for this type of company that has not only the e-commerce uh, segment, but also cloud computing. And you have to realize that uh, the cloud computing alone might uh, worth uh, the entire $300 billion because it is extremely rapidly growing segment and Alibaba is one of the leaders uh, on the Chinese uh, market uh, in this segment. So it is what it is and we have to realize that uh, Alibaba is not only the e-commerce company. So, what was the reason of recent uh, sell-off uh, right here, uh, this uh, decrease in price and what was uh, the reason of uh, this uh, massive surge in price? First of all, let me show you this. Um, on December 29th, uh, uh, we have this article that is titled Alibaba, DD Global, lead broad declines in Chinese tech stocks. And let me quote you this. Chinese tech stocks were mostly in red Wednesday, led by reaction to a new report involving Alibaba and Didi Global's Hong Kong stock listing plans. Alibaba shares fell almost 3% after a report that uh, it is looking at selling its 30% stake in Weibo, the move reportedly being considered in order to reduce Alibaba's massive role in the Chinese tech sector. For its part, Weibo saw its shares dip by 2% in early trading. And I have to say that uh, this uh, sell-off, it was forced by the Chinese government and it was uh, the result of tightening its policy related to Chinese tech giants. So, and what was the reason of uh, this uh, movement to the upside? <laughs> Technically, it might be absolutely the same reason. And let me show you the, this article that was published on December the 30th and uh, is titled Why Alibaba stock bounced back today? And right here you can see that Alibaba's bounce back appears tied to a Bloomberg report yesterday that the company is weighing options to dispose of its 30% stake in Weibo. And um, there are at least a couple of reasons why such a move could be a good for Alibaba. For one thing, it's cash. And right here you can see that uh, despite of uh, 72 billions uh, in the bank, Alibaba is quite a rich company. But nevertheless, selling 30% uh, of Weibo, which is valued uh, in excess of $7 billion, could generate as much as uh, $2.1 billion in new cash uh, for Alibaba to deploy. And uh, I have to say that uh, even $2.1 billion for the company that has uh, $72 billion on uh, their balance sheet is quite a significant number. And um, let me show you this. Uh, perhaps uh, even more important is where Alibaba might redeploy that cash and specifically whether it might uh, put it place other than social media. And let me quote you this paragraph. With the Chinese government tightening controls over free expression online and according to Bloomberg uh, even considering an outright ban on private capital participation in media, Weibo has become the kind of uh, political hot potato that Alibaba would probably prefer to be rid of. If the company can now exit the sector gracefully, 
and uh, collect uh, 2.1 billion dollars on its way out that just might be the best possible outcome for for alibaba shareholders and i have to say that i agree with this statement because we are witnessing the tightening of uh, the chinese uh, policy related to the tech giants from the chinese communist party and uh, this policy gives more uncertainty to the markets and uh, this leads uh, to lower prices for this type of uh, companies but for now, we clearly see that uh, Alibaba is following these rules and this means I don't think that uh, in upcoming year we will see much stricter rules from the Chinese Communist Party. Everything is possible, but I, do but I don't think uh, that it is probable. That's why, in my opinion, the upcoming year might be very profitable for the company because, uh, in my opinion, we still have uh, some uh, downsides related to uh, this type of policy from the Chinese Communist Party. But on the other hand, the business of Alibaba by itself is very, very strong for now. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, as already mentioned, we have uh, pretty much double bottom and it is extremely bullish pattern. And with this movement to the upside, we clearly have uh, this uh, beautiful volume and uh, this volume shows us that uh, we might have uh, a trend continuation. And this means for now we have a very good setup even for a swing traders, not only for investors in this company who want to invest for the long period of time. And let me show you this setup. If you want to enter the position, uh, technically you can add your position right here and you can do it by laddering your buys down when the price uh, goes south. And uh, your stop loss should be slightly below this range, slightly below $110 price point. And uh, next uh, potential targets, let me switch to 4 hours time frame at least. Next potential target might be this uh, previous stop and uh, it might be up to 9% uh, of potential profits. But it is not uh, the best uh, setup because we have uh, almost the same number of downside potential. And uh, on a greater scale, let me show you that uh, we might have uh, next potential price target right here at the top of our previous swing high. And from our current price, we might have uh, about 54% uh, of upside potential with the 7% of downside potential gives an amazing risk to reward ratio. This means uh, it is a quite good uh, technical setup for uh, swing traders. And uh, if you want to enter the position uh, as an investor, just uh, buy on every daily red candle. And this will give you a huge opportunity for the upcoming couple of years with this company. So I think from the technical standpoint, that's it for now. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye.